hello and welcome to the Demos PS 2016 um, option file for the Xbox 360. This is just a tutorial to tell you how to get the files onto your USB. This is my Twitter at DJ Demos. Let's go. Step one. Okay. I need you to grab your USB. Um, 4 gig would be a perfect size, so get a 4 gig USB um, and put it in your Xbox. Okay, what a lovely 3D um, illustration. I wonder who made that. Okay, now in the storage settings, go to USB storage device, select Y, um, y button, and then you can choose to format your USB. So I want you to press yes and it will erase everything, make it fresh. Okay, so now you're ready. Step two. Now you need to go to Google, um, search how to display hidden folders um, in your PC or your Mac. And once you've done that, it will allow you to see the folder on the USB called content. It's a hidden folder, but it'll only show up if you do this properly. Okay? Once that's done, that means you're really ready for step three. Okay, download the file from my blog or from um, Pez World. Okay, once you've downloaded it, it will come as a packed file, um, a compressed file. So you need to uncompress it using WinRAR, can't even say WinRAR or WinZip, one of those, or um, extract it. Once you've figured out how to do that, you'll see the file folder, which is just there. Um, inside the folder, these are the files you need to copy onto your USB okay so you need to select them all copy them and throw them over to your USB side okay into the folder on your USB that's perfect also make sure you eject your USB correctly because if you just pull it out it may get um, cropped, cropped folders and cropped files okay let's go so now you're ready for step four go back to the settings menu in your system um, system tab okay now go to storage what I want you to do is copy the details from the USB so if you select the USB go inside um, until you go again into games and apps and then you'll see the folder so just press Y and then it allows you to copy so you can select copy and it will copy all the contents into your hard drive. Um, some people who don't have hard drives, they may be able to load the file directly from the USB, but you'll have to test that as I haven't tested it as of yet. So press yes, replace all items, and what this will do is copy all the contents from the USB into your hard drive, and you should be ready for the, the next stage. This takes about two minutes usually to copy over. Now you should be ready for the final stage, which is step five. Okay, you load the game, turn it on. Um, what you need to do is just check to see if you know kits show up or if the names have changed. Um, if it'll either work or it won't. If you see kits or you won't, you know, don't contact me and you know bouncing emails back and forth for five hours and it turns out it does work. It just happens to be a typo or something really silly like that. But anyway, just go into options or into into edit mode or exhibition. Just check to see any difference okay so yeah you can see the emblems are there which means in this case it worked okay just having a look at some Premier League kits here So in the mod file you can add stadiums. Um, all these kits have come from um, the files with Pez World that we all worked on. So myself, Glenn, um, Jordan, like the whole team we just put together, um, been making kits that people are using on PS4. So I've managed to put these same kits into the Xbox 360. So you can see the quality, which is really nice.
okay so for the mod file now the reason why the mod file is different to the normal file is because it's not supported by Konami um, it involves um, ripping open the game literally and putting in your own things um, you can change you know the, the kits the colors um, if you see here it has a custom color the normal game gives you four colors to choose from whereas the mod file allows you to have about I think 60 60 plus um, so it looks more realistic um, you can even have the Premier League font the number font on the back of the shirts so um, it just adds that extra level of detail which even the PS4 doesn't have um, downside to the mod file is there's millions of errors now and then which means you know I have to sort of get it fixed um, it's not compatible with the data pack so when the data pack comes out you have to wait a few days for me to fix it things like that um, but yeah anyway that's it you can see it works hope you've enjoyed the video um, and take care